Welcome back to your four to five registration for Guilford County Schools Virtual Academies is officially closed. The two online schools are the only option for kids who want to continue remote learning when students return to the classrooms. Now, last week, the district told us that 7000 kids had enrolled of the 72,000 in the district, but they haven't given us an updated number since registration ended on Friday at five o'clock. Today, I got an inside look at how and what those students will be learning. We're at home. Home. <laughs> Lindsay Ingram and Caitlin Bacon are both teaching from classrooms inside of their homes. They're part of Guilford County Schools, all new virtual academies. Today is one of our favorite days. Ingram teaches STEM. STEM challenge day. Woo -woo -woo. And Bacon teaches fourth grade. You round then out. Both use live and pre-recorded lessons to deliver the same curriculum taught in GCS schools. The curriculum, they're getting the same thing in our classrooms that they would get in a brick and mortar school. Um, all of us have been brick and mortar teachers up to this point. At the start of the year, all students learned online. If parents wanted their kids to continue with remote learning, they had to enroll them in one of two virtual academies. That meant transferring out of their original school for at least the remainder of the semester, if not the year. We are not just some foreign, the virtual school. We are a GCS school and we develop those relationships. Students can complete the 15 to 30 hours of school work each week at their own pace and on their own time. Both Ingram and Bacon say the feedback from students and parents has been overwhelmingly positive and they feel like everyone is more engaged. It's fun with middle schoolers. They don't always just come out and say, oh, I like this lesson. I know I'm doing a good job. Every time we have a live lesson and there are more cameras on. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, they want me to see them. Yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> Aside from tech issues, both teachers think the virtual academy is already a well-oiled machine. One thing that's been thrown around a lot about the virtual school is building this plane as we fly it. But <laughs> we don't see it as that. I believe we are jets and we are taking off into the future of education. And every day we are soaring higher and higher. And so that's what we want to instill in our children, like, let's go get it. 